This video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. Any live event, any sporting event, anywhere you want to go, SeatGeek has tickets for you. And the coolest thing about it is they actually have a rating system for their tickets. Red being not so good, green being exceptional as far as value. Listen, SeatGeek can get you Cowboys games. Who's your favorite artist? Mine, you guys may not have heard of them because I'm an independent guy. I like indie music. I still can get tickets when it comes to SeatGeek. Any live event, I'm telling you guys, Cowboys games, uh, Yankees games, Lakers games, I know those are the big three in every sport, they got you. But even the underground stuff, soccer, whatever you want to watch, baseball, SeatGeek will take care of you guys. I'm telling you now, you need to tap in with SeatGeek. The website is concise, easy to navigate. SeatGeek has your any need that you have for a live event, SeatGeek can take care of you. After the Rams preseason game, I was one of the first people to do film on Cooper Beebe. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, you know, online and hearing that, well, you know, he, he looked okay at center, but he could possibly be a guard and this, that, and the third. And this is why I always beg people to first watch the film or take some time to kind of just breathe for a second. <sighs> because the film looked exceptional to me especially when you're talking about upside-wise, out of maybe a few plays. You saw real strength. You saw real power when it came to Cooper Beebe. And so you now hear Mike McCarthy come out today and say, he's earned reps with the ones. So this isn't made up. This isn't we're just giving him a shot because he was the third-round pick. No, Cooper Beebe has earned reps with the ones. There was a play, and this isn't a bashing session when it comes to Brock Hoffman, but there was a play – where you saw Brock Hoffman move in space on screen game, and then you saw Cooper Beebe move in space on screen game. You guys be the judge, but to me, the movement ability, it, it wasn't even close. Cooper looked better as a mover. He had more pop in his hands. He, he looked stronger. His base looked better. Honestly, something as small as him being in a stance is something that I get on my kids about all the time. Like, you need to be in a good stance. You need a work stance. You need to burn your legs up. He, he was in a better stance. Um, he, he just looks like he has a better feel at the position than Brock Hoffman. Now, the snaps, that's one thing. And he'll have games where he's playing against, you know, odd fronts, and he'll get a zero tech and a one tech, and it'll be more of a test. But I'll just be honest with you, Cooper Beebe, I'd rather go through my lumps with Cooper Beebe right now than say, and I like Brock Hoffman, you know, he's he, he's been a journeyman, um, undrafted guy out of VTech, and, he, and he's climbed his way up the ranks, but... I just think the pedigree right now, it just it it, it, it it leans more towards Cooper Beebe. And I think before it's all said and done, he's going to be the starting center week one. And we got to remember, Mike McCarthy's coaching for his job. So this was a situation to me where he pulled rank and said, you know what? You know, Mike Solari, I love you, but I know what I'm looking at. And right now, I just think that Cooper Beebe gives you the better option at center. And it's really... It, it, this shouldn't even have been that much of a debate. If you want to talk about the snaps, okay, that's fine. But when you talk about the power, the base, the footwork, it's Cooper Beebe, and it's and it's not close. And if you haven't watched the film session that I did, please go watch it. Tyler Guyton is now the starter. Chuma Doga is hurt. He has the injury. But even if Chuma Doga didn't get hurt, Tyler Guyton was going to be the starter week one. I think you've seen enough. The only blemish that Guyton has really had that I've seen is just he was sick, and apparent. I've heard it was pneumonia. I've heard other different things. I don't know how true that is, but him being sick, and he kind of kept it close to himself. It's like, ah, I don't really want to talk about it, but him being sick and him missing those valuable reps, that's one thing that I could say, you know, him missing reps. You don't want a young player missing reps, especially with him being that young, but you got to think. The day when him going against Micah holding his own, that was a check green mark. But then we got to be honest, when you look at him, he is a massive human being with great feet. So the Cowboys will do things like put tight ends to his side and have a running back chip on Miles Garrett. But, I mean, right now he's he's a better player than Chuma Doga anyway. If I mean, honestly, you could probably talk about Awesome Richards, but with Awesome, you know, there were reps against Jared Verse where his power just, I don't know. So – the right option is to have Tyler Guyton in there and you go through what you need to go through. 
you figure it out, you coach it up on the fly, but also give Tyler Guyton credit. Nobody else. Nobody else gets credit but Tyler Guyton. I'm not giving trainers credit. I'm not give give Tyler Guyton credit because this fan base was ready to throw him away. They were. It's the truth. And then he comes in, he works his tail off. The players have to want to get better. I tell the kids I coach all the time, if you don't want to get better, nobody can do it for you. So Tyler Guyton wanted to get better, and he's ascended in this way because he wanted to get better. There's a lot of players who, oh, I'm working hard, but no, you're not. Tyler Guyton wanted to get better, so he's gotten better. So those are the two nuggets right now, guys. Cooper Beebe, Tyler Guyton, they're in. We'll see how many reps Cooper Beebe gets. But Tyler Guyton, that's your starting left tackle when it's time to roll. All right, it's your boy Foots. This is big news, and I'm I'm excited about it. And I'm I'm honestly I'm ready to go through the lumps, but I think that when it's all said and done, you'll be. I think this offense may be sped up because of the, some of the things that Tyler Guyton can do as a run blocker, and he's already like really good as a pass blocker. So I'm excited about these changes. Peace.